Well, listen, the fight's coming up. How do you feel going right right now against this? What do you think about your opponent? I feel it, you know, my prep is going well. I, I feel I have the upper hand. I feel I have the upper hand. I'm fighting a retired guy, you know, 38, 39 year old guy. Um, it's no secret that with age, it is easier to get knocked out. This is a scientific fact. Your brain gets smaller with age. As a result, there's more space for it to move inside your head, making getting knocked out all easier. That is not a good prospect fighting a guy like me. You know, he talks about putting me into coma and this and that. When did he ever put anybody in coma? You know, everybody knows in boxing, his first 20 fights were fake fights, you know, this putting the record. And even those guys he couldn't stop. He couldn't even stop the guys that were sent there to lose. So when the fuck, how is he going to stop me? I eat head kids for breakfast and keep walking forward. Did you see my last fight? No problem. I was back training fucking in the gym that week I, that I came back home. How what's he gonna do with his brittle little fucking hands? No chance. No how, did, chance. how does he compare to your old, your past opponent, your past opponents? Yeah, he's I just, all I see is leftovers. It's a bit of fucking cold leftovers, not worth reheating. That's all I see. So how do you see this fight end though? I see me stopping him. He doesn't want it no more. You know, in order to be a fighter, in order to really compete in this sport, especially in the sport like bare knuckle, you have to want it. The fire has to burn in here. His fire is long gone. He just got nothing but a fucking gut. How, you know? So what is your strategy against him? My strategy is just come in there mall and grab him by the back of his fucking head and then <laughs> shove my fist down his throat. Is this personal or is it business? Well, it is it? personal now. Yeah, you've seen the way he was behind. I mean, look what this guy is even doing. Did you see him spitting on the mural? You know what he thinks? He he insulted Connor, but oh yeah, Connor is really fucking worried about it. But what did he do? He spat on someone's hard work. He spat on someone's passion. You know, just an artist that that had nothing to do with the situation, and he did that. An artist in his own hometown of New York, and that's what he did. That's just a scumbag move. I, I think the whole world wants me to put this guy away, okay, and I'm happy to oblige. You think you don't know power, he has no. What what do you mean think? There's not about thinking, it's about facts. Look at his record. He couldn't stop the fighting record guys. The guys that were sent there to lose, he couldn't stop them. And any time he fought anybody halfway decent, he got his ass whooped, handed to him. He's got nothing. And the only reason, you know, before I used to even think, well, some of those fights he managed to go to 12 rounds, maybe he's a tough guy. And then I rewatched it back. No, he's just a pussy because he doesn't fight. He hides behind the jab, doesn't throw anything. He makes this fake movements with the jab, making it seem like he's gonna throw, but not really. Just keeps the guy at bay and never lets the right hand go, just hiding, hiding, hiding. That's how he makes it to the end of this fight. He's a two-time world champion. How is he, you know? Man, in boxing, there's a million fucking uh, belts and a million weight classes. You know, you can avoid everybody. Why wasn't he mainstream? When you're a true world boxing champion, everybody knows about you. Everybody knows Lomachenko. Everybody knows Mike Tyson. Everybody knows Mohamed Ali. Nobody fucking heard of this guy. Do you think if boxing was set up the way the UFC is with one belt in each division that Paulie would have ever been a champion? No chance. No chance. If he if he had to fight, competitive fight every single time, no chance would he ever be a champion. And that shows, look at his competitive fight record. We're, you're all held professionals. You, you know, this is not average fans. So you understand what it is. Remove those first 20 fucking fights. Remove a couple more after that. And what, what is his record? One and fucking eight. What are your thoughts on the fighters that he has faced? The world champions that we can get in? Yeah, he got his ass whooped. Okay. He, got, he, 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 you know, he was shown that he didn't belong in there. He's, he's got one win, Zab Jura, I believe. That's his one good win. But at that stage, Zab was finished. You know, he didn't, you know, what I mean, he didn't have the love for it anymore. And that's you can't really count that as as, as a real win as well. So he has no fucking real wins in boxing. So how what you, am I how there? How do you manage your emotions going to this fight, or are you just you just gonna let it go? Man, I, 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 I just let it go. You've seen how I manage my fucking emotions. I put them in a blender, <laughs> a blender of fucking Russian hammers. How am I meant to be afraid of this guy? He's got this. I actually found out this fucking eyebrows that he's got that's called HD eyebrows okay. if you're a fucking man get yourself HD TV not fucking HD eyebrows oh he probably can't fucking afford the HD TV yet is there anything you respect about him it's very hard to respect this guy honest to god like I said as a look fighter like he, as a person as a person as a fighter you know as anything it's just how do you respect this guy he's just a scumbag the lowest of the low like well, look the kind of shit he did I walked into his hometown in the middle of Brooklyn do you know what I mean alone I came there was asked by the uh, president, look, no hands, please. We want to make a good impression on the commission. We're a new sport, uh, you know, trying to break it onto the big leagues. So, you know, we need to showcase ourselves as professional athletes. And that's what I tried to do. And this guy shows up there with 20 guys. He's a brave guy, little fucking touch, and then run, runs off. 
what is that? If you told me now there is a guy that I really hate and he's stand, standing there and I could sneak up on him, give him a slap and run, I wouldn't want to do it. That, that gives me no pleasure, that gives me no satisfaction. I want to meet a man fair and square in the fucking ring and put him away. That, that's what true warriors do, that's what true men do, you know? What he does, that's just sleazy little fucking low life kind of type of behavior that's, that he does. It's well known that you're a 